government shutdown now causing pain for Green Country residents visiting the Social Security office, even those who help keep us safe. Two News reporter Brandon Richards live in East Tulsa now with more to explain. Brandon? Well, Russ, anyone who's ever had to visit a Social Security office knows that sometimes you have to bring in a lot of paperwork and sometimes wait a long time just to get a Social Security card. But because of the government shutdown, getting one of these is now impossible. Old Glory dancing with the Oklahoma wind is about all that's normal at Tulsa's Social Security office today. That place is empty. I've never seen it so empty. Barbara Dinwitke stopped by hoping to replace a Social Security card she lost. It is for some uh, veterans benefits that my husband and I are both eligible for that we cannot get until I have a Social Security card. But when she stepped inside, not only did the empty room surprise Barbara, so did the staff when they turned her away. No explanation other than, sorry, we're not doing that today. Well, as it turns out, Barbara and others were turned away because many of the Social Security workers were furloughed, sent home without pay because of the government shutdown. And they weren't the only ones. A spokesperson tells me nearly 700 workers in the Oklahoma National Guard were furloughed, including 125 technicians at the Air National Guard's 138th Fighter Wing in Tulsa. As for Barbara, she hopes the shutdown ends soon. It's a little scared being an older person and having to face all this stuff. So she can get on with life as normal. Now, the National Guard not expecting to have to furlough any more workers. As for the services still available here at the Social Security office, Log on to our website, kjrh.com. Reporting live in East Tulsa, Brandon Richard, 2 News works for you.